It's game time for this special group of students at Stow Elementary in Raleigh. They came to learn the game of chess. Elshan Moradiabadi is a chess grandmaster, now living in Durham. He introduced the students to kings, queens, bishops, and noble knights. The students and their families are refugees from their troubled homeland of Afghanistan, where chess, some say, was born. Both India and Persia claim um, chess as its own. Carol Meyer, executive director of U.S. Chess, says the game itself has been attacked in Afghanistan. There was a time back in the early 2000s when the Taliban government was first installed um, where chess was actually banned. With the Taliban back in control, chess may once again become a crime. Principal Chris Cox says here the game has helped to break down barriers. Obviously, in a, in a new place, at a new time, feeling very foreign to them, this is something that really gives them a little bit of familiarity with something that they love, as simple as the game of chess. Um, and again, it's why we do what we do, right? To have our kids just to see that, tw uh, that twinkle in their eyes when they're learning. Uh, and, and all of these students are still trying to master the English language. And so one connection for them with the game of chess has been really, uh, really great. We see chess as a, a universal game. And, you know, it's a universal language today. These kids were able to move the pieces, even though they haven't yet mastered the language that we were speaking in the room. In the end, each student took their own new chess set home. Hi, I'm Christine Persichetti, anchor of Currents News. If you like what you saw, please hit the like button on this video. And if you want to see more content just like it, subscribe and click on the bell for notifications. Thanks for watching because we are putting your faith in the news.